Hi everyone, I'm Mona Marlowe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I am excited to share with you my experience meeting the legendary movie star Lauren Bacall. This happened, I, it was in 2008, here in New York City. Um, on Madison Avenue on the Upper East Side. I used to work in this store called Zittimer's. It's a high-end pharmacy slash um, cosmetic store. They sell everything from high-end cosmetics, fragrances, and skincare, and hair care. Um, you name it. They're still there. They're on 76 in Madison. Um, so if you're ever in that area, I highly recommend going into the store. It's three stories. It's a fun, 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 amazing store. Um, so anyway, before I continue, if this is your first time on my channel, please feel free to subscribe, like, and share my video, especially with any Lauren Bacall fan out there that you may know of. Okay, so I'm working, I'm in the cosmetics, and in the back, we sell our hair care products by the pharmacy. So, of course, I had to keep an eye out for any customer that came in, even if they came in from the back entrance, um, so I saw this woman wearing all black with her dog and I think she had a cane from what I remember. I'm not sure, but I think she had a cane. Anyway, I just, you know, thought it was like an older lady looking for shampoo. And so I said, excuse me, ma'am, can I help you with anything? And she said, yeah, I'm looking for John Frieda shampoo. Mind you, we sell Renee Federer, Fido, um, all these top brands, and she asks for John Frieda, okay? Now, you know John Frieda sold in drugstores. There's nothing special about it. So I said, yeah, we actually do, but I took her to the other section where we sold the cheaper shampoos, and she was like, and I don't want the one that makes my hair dull. And I was like, oh my God, this is Lauren Bacall. When I heard her voice the second time and looked into her eyes, I was like, oh my God. But of course, people are people. You know, I pretend like I don't even know who you are <laughs> when I meet a celebrity because guess what? I knew you're famous, but when you're standing in front of me, you're flesh and blood just like me. I never get starstruck, but I am i was more surprised by her like I was with Liza Minnelli than I, um, then I was starstruck a little bit. Not really starstruck. I don't think that's the right word. But like I was excited that, oh my God, this is Lauren Bacall. So I said, oh, okay, so you must want the one for golden blondes instead of, you know, ash blondes, silver blondes for cool blondes. And she said, yeah, I hate that one other one. It makes your hair dull. And I went, yeah, I like warmer tones as well. Okay, so is there anything else you're looking for, madame? And she said, no, that's it. And as I was walking, I walked her up to the register and um, I was behind the counter and the register now to ring her up and she looked nicer and more pleasant at that moment. So I leaned in and I said, Miss Bacall, I am such a huge fan of yours and it's such an honor to meet you. And she, her whole demeanor changed. I kid you not, she went from looking grouchy to just a sweet smile, like a grin, sweet grin, and her eyes just sparkled, and she looked at me, and she went, well, thank you. And I said, I watched many of your movies. I'm a fan of your ex-husbands, 
and I know you did Gentlemen Prefer Blondes with Marilyn, and I'm a huge fan of hers. I said, is it possible I can ask you what it was like working with her? And she said, oh, she was a doll. Such a sweet doll. And I said, did she, you know, did she look the same in person? Or was that just, you know, the camera? And she said, exactly the way she looked on the screen is how she looked in real life. And I said, well, I really, really am grateful that I met you. And she went, oh, thank you. You're a sweetheart. And I remember her walking her to the front door and her dog. And she said, oh, I hate the Upper East Side. They're such snobs. They think, you know, they're so much better on the East Side. And I was like, oh, so you live on the West Side? She said, yeah, I live right across the park. And I said, oh, okay. Later on, I found out that she lived in the legendary Dakota building on Central Park West where John Lennon lived and was shot in front of. So I know that the West Side is a little bit more laid back than the East Side, but I, I wouldn't expect her to be so laid back and casual and just like a regular lady walking her dog. Like I said, I would have never recognized her if she didn't look into my eyes and I didn't hear her voice. I would have just mistaken her for another older Upper East Side, you know, woman shopping. So um, I was really, really grateful that I met her because even at that time in 2008, she was one of the last remaining legendary stars from that era. And of course, I love old Hollywood. Um, I've been obsessed with it since I was a child. And um, I met many other um, uh, legendary not <laughs> um, stars from that time also. I met Julie Andrews, Joan Call um, Collins. I met Diane Carroll. Um, and just Barbara Walters, you name it, like old, old movie stars that maybe today people don't really um, pay attention to. But of course, once a legend, always a legend. And that is the story I wanted to share with you. If you are a Lauren McCall fan out there, I dedicate this video to you and of course to Lauren Bacall herself. Um, thank you again for watching and with that I like to close. I will see you in my next video to come very very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.